Welcome back to The Four. On this week's Growing, Eating, and Educating, Nambop Farm Director, Andrea Bushery, shows us how they are trellising the tomatoes. Yeah, so let's head out to Nambop Farm and get our hands dirty. Hey guys, welcome back to Growing, Eating, and Educating. I'm your farm director, Andrea Bushery. And today we're gonna talk about how we're trellising our tomatoes in this high tunnel. So you may have remembered earlier in kind of like springish winter time, we had kind of showed you how we're doing it this year with a little bit different system with these hooks. And then we had the cable. So I kind of taught you how to design the system. And so today we're gonna talk about how to actually implement the system and carry it out. This is called the lower and lean system. And so like we talked earlier, we have this hook here and this hook is on a cable. And so it's meant to slide and so we have these hooks here. Um, and so all they do is it's got a little bit of foam that kind of grips onto the plant. And then this part hooks onto our wire. And so we squeeze it and it comes on here. And this is what kind of holds the plant upright. Uh, we want these plants in a vertical position so that we can actually maximize the space in here. So each time, these are cherry tomatoes, and so these are indeterminate, which means they'll just keep growing, um, which means they'll grow all the way to the ceiling, but it makes it really hard for us to be able to work with them and harvest them. We'd have to get on ladders and all of that. And so what this system is designed to do is to actually slide the plant down. And then this is the lower part, and then this is the lean part. You slide this hook over and this is the lean part. And so now your plant is all right in front of you. So you actually have a little bit better of like ergonomics. So you're not reaching super high above and you're also not having to reach super far down and it keeps the plant just in a nice area for you. And so you'll keep doing this as the plants grow on down the line. So you'll lean them all one direction. And then eventually when you get to the end of the bed, you start coming back the other direction. So it becomes a little bit of a jungle, but it keeps your, it saves your back a lot, of, a lot of work. So that's really all it is. And then as we do this, we prune up all the, the suckers on here um, and then some of the leaves to increase the airflow. Um, we're in a high tunnel, so it's super humid and hot in here all the time. So if we can have as much airflow, that means a lot less uh, disease that would be happening and a lot of less like condensation sitting on our leaves. Um, so this is kind of how we do it in here to kind of mitigate the disease pressure, but also making sure we're saving our bodies as we're harvesting and dealing with these every day. So this is how we trellis our tomatoes inside the high tunnels. Stay tuned for later through the season to see how we trellis our tomatoes outside in the field.